Hey yo, what's up everyone? So this is, you know, kind of weird. All right, it's not that weird. I mean, if you're an older viewer, then this wouldn't be too weird, but we are here and we're just playing Terraria. That's it. I know it's insane. I usually just do this on streams. I mean, I used to do it on my channel a couple months ago, but obviously the content of the channel has changed for better or for worse, uh, probably for better. But you know, we are here and we're just, we're just chilling, playing some Terraria. I'm going to play as a summoner. I uh, broke the rules already because I'm axing this. Let me just get my hands on some gel. But yeah, we're going to play as a summoner. I've been feeling like playing as a summoner and, you know, just casually playing Terraria, not even on stream, not even off stream, just, I guess we'll this is kind of on stream i'm actually using obs right now to record because uh ever since i updated my uh windows to windows 10 it's been terrible and i can't use fraps anymore because fraps was for windows 7 and i mean obs is good and everything but i really liked how simple and easy fraps was to use and i've been using it for literally forever and uh you know oh well it happens windows 10 is ass but let's get to it we're playing summoner i'm probably gonna edit this like you know my other videos uh make sure to check out the mod list there's some you know pretty decent mods in here uh i changed up the pack a little bit it's a little bit different than usual so make sure that you check that out but yeah we got some mods in here we got modder redemption uh let me think of the big mods we got modder redemption in here we have uh pinky's mod then we have thorium i think those are the big mods and then we got a couple smaller ones fargo's juice those mods aren't really that small to be honest but yeah there's all this stuff we could choose here the thing is we get weaknesses when we choose some of these cores from modder redemption and i don't know if i really mess with that where's the summon summoner one right here minion damage the night cloaks you you are stronger at night increasing all sets you're weakened at day that's terrible it's warding too are you kidding me that's pretty good if it's warding still not gonna use it all right so let's go ahead L let's get to it man let's get to it there's spike traps what is that i just want a summoner weapon we got a summoner weapon we can make this early oh we do have one we can make we just need to make some torches and with the torches boom ember staff from the juice mod now uh i chose modern redemption because i barely played it i chose pinky's mod because i never played it Th that's the reasons right there i just gave you the reasons you know i added those mods and we got thorium in here thorium at this point is like terraria dlc to me it's usually always going to be in the mod pack unless it's like i don't know overhaul or something terry overhaul why are you killing the turtle the turtle didn't do nothing damn that's messed up but yeah let's get to it i don't know what summoner stuff we're gonna get our hands on uh because i usually forget all progression when it comes to play twos i'm trying to think i should probably pull up like a tablet or something with everything on it but we are playing as my main man dude is our boy here uh he's a gnome what is that cobbling that's a walking piece of grass please kill it before it touches me i don't want that thing touching me thank you oh look tier one loot bag so yeah make sure you check out the mod pack increases dark damage life regen by three whoa okay i cannot fight that thing right now <laughs> we out of here what's in the loot bag slime crown okay that's not bad i'll take it so obviously i'm not gonna know the stuff from modern redemption or uh pinkies i'll definitely not gonna know anything from pinkies come on don't kill me i need you down here we need to kill this guy i really want to get the leapest summon if there is one and i definitely want to get the turco or something i know there's a turco or one dude don't kill me don't kill me kill it please kill it please thank you oh i didn't drop it they're like chance for those leapus or disaster bunnies to drop the leapus summon is slow it's so slim and it makes it hard to fight leapus because they also barely spawn bro why are you on my ass come on i'm gonna throw an egg at you oh i completely missed i threw it right at the floor look at the jukes okay don't look at those jukes those, those bad jukes all right you know while you're doing that go ahead and loot this chest hopefully we can get a dodge in here do a big jump big jump that was a small jump big jump Thank you. Just slow and steady. We'll win the race. Let's get you on this side. Get you closer to me. Come on. Just just kill it. Just kill it. It's so close. Pink so our first mini boss in like the first six minutes, seven minutes of recording. That's like record time. Look at that. Oh, now there's a bunch of pinkies. Yo, if you kill the pinkies, that's loot. Let's keep them in here. Let's keep the okay. Well. Okay, well. Come on. Just come towards me. There we go. As long as we keep them contained, we can we can get us some goodies. Cause these pinkies uh, from a recent challenge stream I did, they they drop some goodies, man. So let's see if we can if we can kill them somehow. Don't escape, please don't escape. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> They're gone, dude. No, I could have got so much loot from them. We could have got a summoner staff right at the beginning, a really good one. Are you kidding? Oh, coming back, please just. Just fight me, please. Come back. Ah, why do they do that? <laughs> it's 
so our current goal right now while there's still somewhat daylight oh man what the, how come i can see that what's that i don't know but since it's still daytime uh we're gonna go to the left or yeah i guess left and we're gonna try our best to find a living wood tree because that's like the first set of armor we can get and i'm looking at thorium and i always get this feeling when i play a new like class or not play a new class play through a class i always get this feeling that i'm missing something because i don't have all in all the information and data gathered or memorized i kind of got to get that way of thinking out of my head when it comes to terraria because each time you start a new terraria playthrough you know it's fresh you never know what you can get your hands on each playthrough is supposed to be different and i gotta treat terraria more like that rather than like a checklist because i treat it like a checklist when i'm doing new playthroughs and the main reason is is because i don't want to miss anything when i'm doing a playthrough especially things that i've never gotten before i don't want to miss out on them but it just happens sometimes it's really hard especially when you're playing with mods that aren't you know well complete work in progress a majority of the time and uh they're missing content or their wiki pages are not complete and that's kind of what we're dealing with in terms of mod of redemption and pinky's mod so i'm just using thorium as our base because you know it's the most complete and organized wiki that i know of and uh it's easy to find information on there and i played through summoner thorium before all right daytime has arrived uh i'm open this loot bag nice shiny red balloon i got my hands on a couple stars i died a couple of times but you know what the good thing is i remembered to enable the recipe browser so that will be in the mods list below in the description boom i got recipe browser we got cheat sheet but like, gamers why do you need cheat sheet when you got recipe browsers i, I use these teleport things a lot because they're very useful if you consider that cheating oh well every time you blink i cheat all right let's do it let's we gotta find a living with tree please stop touching me Okay, he's not gonna stop touching me. I, I'm not consenting to it, so like, come on. But yeah, this is very useful. One of my favorite things about Recipe Browser, even though I barely use it, motherfucker, is, is extremely useful. It has a lot of useful uh, things, mechanics in it. But yeah, let's go ahead. I don't know if Cactus makes a summon or not. Let's get our hands on some Cactus. Please don't, please don't kill me. Let's get our hands on some Cactus though. Cactus is always useful some way, somehow. But yeah, we have various weathers in here, which adds in some weather. So hopefully like the, the noise of the weather isn't too annoying. I really like various weathers. Uh, there is some some things that are definitely annoying from the mod though and i can do without but you know i, I still like the mod a lot i love the idea of it, of it i love how unique it is now we could actually upgrade our ember staff to a frost frostburn staff i think dude this world has some big trees man i should get some worlds where all the trees are just tiny and stubby the, the trees in this world they're, they're not playing around man they are not playing around we got some nice long trees no no homo on that one what the hell is that is that a mosquito <laughs> Mosquito? Oh god, please don't kill me. Thank god he got stuck. No. Why didn't I jump? Bro, if I die, I'm gonna be upset. You know how long it took me to get over here? It's that medium si I walked into one of the stupid spiky bushes. You know, something we could do here. Ooh, stop. Something we could do here is craft a dirt staff. <laughs> Which, if you don't know what a dirt staff is, it's from the juice mod. And it's a very, very strong weapon if you have sacks of dirt in your inventory. If not, it's not too crazy, but it's still pretty good. Probably better than what I currently have. Good that we got that red balloon from that loot bag. That's gonna help us out a lot here. I really hope there's a living wood tree. I've been in worlds with like three to four living wood trees. And you tell me I can't find a single one in this medium sized world? Like, I've seen three to four in small worlds because they're usually playing small worlds, but I was like, let me change it up. Let me change it up. Is this a sword shrine down there? probably but yeah i whoa how long is that tree okay i was about to say that tree that tree has inches no home <laughs> yeah i hope 1.4 is around the corner because i i just want to play some 1.4 honestly i'm not a person that plays vanilla terraria anymore because i feel like i've done everything i can in vanilla terraria and i get no benefits from playing vanilla terraria other than i don't know i guess being able to play with other people that play vanilla terraria and i kind of want to play some villain vanilla terraria but new features i'm trying to play that 1.4 man when's if i just didn't play one before and i waited for team mod loader to update <laughs> but yeah another game that i'm pretty hyped about and we may or may not see something in the future on my channel about it or very near future uh cube world honestly i should be more hyped than i am but there's so many games coming out that like it's hard to spread the hype everywhere and cube world is officially gonna hopefully release its big giant update and actual official release on steam the end of september or october something like that and that's that's insane the game has been out for how long since the update or it's been out for how long and it's a historic event honestly and it's amazing that it's finally you know getting that update definitely gonna be up there 
God, I just want to find the trees. Daytime has cometh yet again. Uh, I went back to the left trying to remake my progress at night. Did not work, but we did get our hands on two meatball staffs. Two of them. And one of them's unpleasant. That's actually, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead. We'll, we'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to one of them. We don't need two of them. Uh, open up tier one loot bag. Yeah, 10 over. That's it. Let's try right this time. And hopefully we can get our hands on some armor in this first episode. All right. I went all the way to the right and there was no living wood tree. You think all of this area, there would be a living wood tree? No. <laughs> oh God. Please. I can't. I have been right. I have been left. I have been everywhere, but there's no living with trees. So we're going to our second option here. And that is straight up just crafting one. Uh, I want you guys in the comments, other than leaving your kind words, leave some suggestions for houses, probably, you know, close to the gnome. I can make like a mushroom house or a hobbit hole, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really feeling those two. I don't know. Give me some house suggestions and I will try my best. Uh, even though I'm not that good at building, I'll try my best. Uh, if I see any good things in the comment section, any good ideas i'll probably go with those but yeah let's make this living 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 loom is that what it's called we make it with 10 wood 10 star five stars there it is boom living loom bam we got this now what's the reason for us getting this because we got to make that leaf one and uh, we make the leaf one right here we can then place the leaves we break the leaves we get what we were looking for boom bada bing y'all ready for this go ahead place us a good bit of leaves and then we're gonna we're gonna break them that didn't give us anything all right let's try again boom living leaf this is what we need to make our first set of armor and pretty much get the actual first i think the first weapon from the thorium set of summoner stuff i'm not sure that might be the aquaite no not aquaite the coral staff something like that starfish staff but look at this 10 6 8 what's the math there like 24 and then this so 34 all right sweet so let me break a bunch of leaves and i'll be right back all right so hopefully we can actually craft everything here boom boots chest plate helmet and of course the living wood acorn sapling summon whatever this thing is oh this doesn't count as a summon right yeah it doesn't count as a summon so we could have two summons already and this armor set might give us a summon as a set bonus all right let us see the damage difference this is 13 let's put this on boom 13 plus 2 okay he's doing that plus thing that thorium does let's look at our armor here it goes from 6 to 11 set bonus i'm assuming it's an extra minion yep and our living wood sapling attacks will home in on enemies that's that's really good first armor set what's up with all these sirens <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll i'll talk over the sirens i guess I, I don't have a choice i could just wait they're all passing by a nearby street but we got our little trio here we got our fire boy our meatball boy and our sapling boy but first you know before we end off this first episode let me turn the fire boy into a blue fire boy and bam frost fire staff intense it is intense okay there we go i'm gonna try my best to like hold on to all our previous summoner weapons so we can have like a history of the weapons we've used i always think that's a cool thing to do but yeah i think we're gonna end off this first episode don't know how long don't know how short uh like i said leave comments of a house theme or what i should do for a house and uh leave suggestions whatever for things i can do along this playthrough like i said we're gonna take our time in this playthrough we're gonna have fun we're gonna do things differently and uh it should be fun you know just a nice Nice casual playthrough because i haven't done one on the main channel for a while but hey make sure to follow my twitter follow my twitch check out my second youtube channel vod raiders 101 where i post my full twitch live streams i got a lot of tutorial playthroughs on there and also make sure to sub to this channel and join my discord i will see y'all in the next video i love you guys hopefully hopefully this obs recording is decent because like i said windows 10 messed up my frap so i can't record with that